since getting into filmmaking, there's been a ton of mistakes that I've made, but there are a few that I really wish I could go back in time and tell myself not to really stress out about. So I'm gonna share with you what those are so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Hi there, can I get a grande um, ice caramel macchiato upside down? Sir. Thanks brother, you too. Upside down's where it's at. The first big mistake I was making was Something that I didn't even realize was a mistake until I got to the post-production process. So I, I actually got this, this isn't something I came up with on my own, but I got this from, I think it was Lizzie Pierce. Have your shots planned, but get multiple variations of those individual shots. You can change the lighting, change the lens, or change your angle that you're shooting from. And when I started doing that on my shoots, I started getting so much more footage. And another thing that you can do is also change the frame rate. Um, so if you wanna shoot in slow motion, bump up to 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, that really helped me out a lot. Backing into a parking spot. Let me know in the comments, do you back in or do you pull straight in? Can I set up a PO box? For me, it's been really helpful to place myself in an environment where I'm forced to work. Sorry, the loud noise is in the background. But putting myself in an environment, like right now, I'm currently downtown and I can go out, like play around with my variable ND filter and, and just like, you have all these uncontrollable things that you just kind of work through it. Turn off your cell phone, that's what I do, um, and just force yourself to work. Give yourself like an hour or something. Loud noise is going on in the background. Another mistake that I find myself making even to this day, um, is one that really, it can really affect, or at least for me, it's really affected like how, you know, I, how quickly I've improved or like I, I'll plateau from time to time as far as like improvement in filmmaking. Um, but it's information overload, like consuming a whole bunch of YouTube content and not actually going out and shooting. I find myself, if I don't go out and shoot for a while, I will fall into old habits and I've discovered some of the, the best things about myself and about filmmaking by just actually going out and shooting. You can put yourself in a lighting situation like this. You can see that right now the lighting is pretty decent. Um, the back is drowned, is kind of blown out, so I'll adjust that with my variable ND. Um, but then like you can look and see like, wow, if I face this way, I'm squinting, that looks very, very bad. Um, but when I turn this way, I'm kind of, I'm side lit. And when I turn like this, now I'm back lit. Um, and I can also step over here into the shade. Shade's always gonna be your best friend um, when it comes to, mo in most situations where you're u utilizing natural light. I don't really like shooting in direct sunlight unless I have some sort of diffusion. Um, if I don't have any diffusion, then I uh, much prefer to shoot during golden hour. Uh, golden hour is gonna be when the light's the most soft. Now I believe rules are meant to be broken and that is just another part of the, the next mistake that I've made. Now if I could go back in time, I would just be more forgiving of like things like the 180 degree shutter rule because there'd be times where I wouldn't actually film something because I couldn't have the settings perfect in my camera. Um, whereas if I would have just cranked up the shutter just a, a little bit, um, it would have made for a perfectly fine image. I just that comes with time and experience, but I would go back and tell myself like, crank that shutter because if you crank your shutter just a little bit, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Do I recommend doing it all the time? No, ideally you wanna try to get your exposure correct and have the, strive to have the settings the best that they're like to, to what the actual rule is, but rules are meant to be broken. So don't necessarily be so hard on yourself if you're breaking the rules just a little bit. Now there's a lot of editing mistakes that I've made too. So check out this video next and I'll see you there.